Hello everyone, welcome to Nesso Academy. In the previous lecture, we understood the type conversion in C++. Now we are in this lecture and the name of this lecture is the Auto Type Specifier. In this lecture, we will understand the Auto Type Specifier properly. So without any further delay, let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics. The first topic of this lecture is the auto type specifier. First, I will make you understand what is the auto type specifier. Then we will move to the next topic where we will discuss some important points about the auto type specifier. So, these are the two topics which we need to understand in this lecture. So, let's get started with the first topic that is the auto type specifier. So, what is the auto type specifier? Auto type specifier was introduced in C11 and it allows compiler to deduce the type of a variable from its initializer. So, auto type specifier allows compiler to deduce the type of a variable that too automatically without the need of us typing the type of the variable. So, we do not have to specify the type of the variable when we specify the type of the variable as auto. With auto, the type of the variable will be automatically deduced by the compiler. And this is done based on the initializer. This is what I have mentioned here. Now, what is initializer? Initializer is a value which is used to initialize a variable. That's why it is called initializer. And I hope the meaning of auto type specifier is making sense to you. The word auto means automatic and type specifier is something that is used to specify the type. So, auto type specifier allows compiler to specify the type of a variable automatically without the need of us to specify the type. This is done based on the initializer. Now, here comes the third point. It helps in creating cleaner, shorter and readable code. If we use the auto keyword for variables, then it makes our code cleaner, shorter and readable. Not in every case we should use the auto keyword. We will learn about in what cases we should use the auto keyword. But for now, just understand, using auto makes the code cleaner, shorter and of course, readable. Now, through an example program, let's understand how to use the auto keyword in our C++ programs. Here, I have included the iostream header file and here, I have defined the main function. Within this main function, I have defined this variable val1. The type I have specified here is auto. This means this variable has the type auto and the compiler will deduce the type of this variable. This will be deduced based on the initializer. Initializer is 10 of this variable. This value is used to initialize this variable. That's why I'm calling this initializer. Compiler will deduce the type of this variable based on this initializer. This initializer has type integer, therefore this variable will be of type int or integer. This will be done automatically. Now, if we use stdc out to print the value of val1, then we will get 10 as the result. We will not get error from the compiler because it is allowed to use the auto as the type specifier for the variable. I hope this is clear to you. So, with this, we have understood how to use the auto type specifier for a variable. Now, let's consider one scenario. Let's say we want to define multiple variables in the same line. And we want to define those variables with the auto keyword. Now, how do we do this? We can do this like this. Here, I have defined these two variables in the same line. The initializers of these two variables are 10 and 2.5. 10 is the integer value and 2.5 is the double value. Now, these two variables must have the same type. 
the base type is auto here. This will be replaced by the compiler automatically based on the initializers of these two variables. Now, my question is, what will be the type here in place of auto? If you observe these initializers, these initializers have different types. The type of this initializer is integer and the type of this initializer is double. Now, clearly, we do not have the same types here. Therefore, deducing the type for these two variables is not that easy. It cannot be done by the compiler. Compiler will throw an error in this case because these initializers have different types. The initializers must be of same type if we want to deduce the base type of the variables. So clearly, we will get error in this case. So we need to replace either this integer value by a floating point value or a double value to be precise, or we need to replace this double value by an integer value. We can replace this 2.5 by an integer value. Let's say we want to replace this with 25. Now we have two integer initializers here. Therefore, we will get int here from the compiler. Now the deduction is possible. So in this case, there will be no error. And if we try to print the result of val1 plus val2, we will get 35 as the output. I hope this is clear to you. This is because 10 plus 25 is 35. So with this, we have learned the significance of the auto. Now we know what is the auto type specifier. We are done with the first topic, that is the auto type specifier. Let's move to the second topic where we will understand some important points based on the auto type specifier. Here comes the first point. It requires an initializer. As mentioned already, if we specify the type of a variable as auto, then compiler will deduce the type of that variable for us based on the initializer. Initializer plays a very important role in deducing the type of a variable. If we do not specify the initializer, then type deduction is not possible. Therefore, it is important to initialize a variable of type auto. I hope this is clear to you. Now, here comes the second point. The second point is, it is used when type of the initializer is obvious and long. I have mentioned this already. It is not advisable to use auto everywhere. There are some situations where we should use the auto type specifier in place of specifying the type on our own. Here is one such situation. It is mainly used when the type of the initializer is obvious and long. Let's first understand the meaning of obvious with the help of an example. Let's say we have a variable of type integer and we want to use that variable as the initializer for some other variable. Now, if it is the case, then the type of the variable is quite obvious because we have defined the variable on our own, which we want to use as the initializer. Therefore, the type of initializer is obvious and hence the type of variable is also obvious. So, this is one example where the type of the initializer is obvious. And now, let's try to understand the meaning of long. We know typing out int, float, double, char, void are quite simple. We can type them out. They have four or five characters or maybe less. Now, this is possible and it is quite easy as well. But there are some types which are very long compared to these fundamental types. Typing those data types is quite difficult and it takes a lot of time as well. Sometimes we need to reuse these types in our code. It is not recommended to reuse these types. Instead, we can use the auto type specifier. When we learn STL and templates, 
there you will observe many different types which are quite long there you will understand the significance of the auto type specifier auto type specifier is mainly used in those situations when the type is quite obvious and when it is long i hope this point is making sense to you for now we have used the fundamental types for auto type specifier in this lecture i have used the fundamental types to explain the significance of the auto type specifier but we mainly use it for obvious and long types now here comes the third point the third point is overuse can reduce the readability if type isn't obvious if the type of a variable cannot be deduced easily then specifying auto for that variable is not recommended because this reduces readability now why am i saying this reduces readability this is because if we specify a variable as auto whose type cannot be deduced easily then it reduces readability as we have to do a lot of work from our side to understand the code we need to deduce the type from our side every time when we read the code this reduces the readability of the code that is why it is not recommended to use auto for those variables where the type deduction is not obvious that's why i have mentioned before that use auto for those variables where the type of initializer is obvious and long i hope now it is making complete sense to you so with this we have learned these three points which are quite important about the auto type specifier and this makes us understand the auto type specifier properly the significance of auto type specifier will be clear once we discuss templates and stl there we will use the auto type specifier quite frequently so with this we have understood the second topic as well that is important points based on the auto type specifier and this means we are done with this topic and this lecture okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this lecture i will see you in the next one